Before I ever left home, all you had to do was go to Camden Town and you get to work. It was as simple as that. Yeah. Whatever colour you liked, and the the, the RSK were brown, uh, Murphy was green, the other fellow was grey, Lowry was blue, <laughs> Pinch and Mac was green. <laughs> so, whichever colour you like, you could pick go on, pick your colour and jump on the wagon. <laughs> you go down there looking for a start, and you'd, you might see the age, and now like Michael Derrick, uh, any chance of the start, jump up on that wagon there. Come all you true born Irish men and listen to me song. I am a bold book nabby and I don't know right from wrong. Of late I've been transported from Ireland's holy shore. The case of sad me crime is bad for I was born poor. Tricklewood, Tricklewood, you stole my youth away. For I was young and innocent and you were old and grey. You'd be out on the job at say half seven in the morning, quarter to eight. So you go to your toolbox and you take out a fork, a shovel, and a pick. And the foreman and the ganger man had lined out ten yards for you. That'd be two foot six wide and about four foot deep. That was for the big electric cables. And you'd be out of that ten yards, you'd be out of there around one o'clock. And there'd be two or three foremen walking up and down, up and down, all day. Come on, dig it up, lads. Throw it back. Throw it well back. And it was simple as that. People laugh at it, you know, when they hear, throw it well back. Well, that was exactly how it was, because you were going down four foot six deep and piling it up there on one side of the road. And that pile would be about five or six feet high. And if you didn't throw it back far enough, it was going to come back down again on top of you. It was fabulous that time, even when you're a young lad, mm. and you'd see all the men, they'd be all in Greek cafes around Camden Town there, and they'd be packed in the morning, double egg bacon and sausage, and egg and bubble, and um, fish and bubble, you know, that was potatoes and cabbage mixed together. It was lovely as well, you know. But you'd get a lovely piece of smoked haddock in the morning. And it was lovely if you had a few pints the night before, you know, there was good cutting in it. <laughs> Same breed. They worked hard, they drank hard, and they fought hard. And it was as simple as that now. They'd be an individual arsehole here and there. <laughs> but, but apart from that, they, I never found a bit of difference between a Connemara man, a Mayo man, a Belmullet man, or a Guido man. Same caper. Just that they spoke with a different accent. The great old man was as tough as mad as he ever came across. And so was the Bill Mullet men. And they were a match for anyone. Oh, they were, yeah. Better than most. <laughs>